everybody, Linda Carroll here from my studio, Gather of Great Things, and it's really good to be back. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas or holiday, whatever you are celebrating, and I decided um, to work in my kind of uh, wonky journal, is what I was calling it. Um, it is all made out of junk mail, if you'll remember, and I've been collaging in this for a while now, and I've had some requests to go back to it. So I was wondering what I was going to be doing uh, after the break that I took. Uh, before the holidays, I decided I was going to make some cookies and get some gifts together for my friends. And what came to me as I was looking for my golden book um, the night before Christmas was the 12 Days of Christmas. And I found a book that I had when I was a little girl. I don't know where the cover is right now. But it's about the 12 days of Christmas and I've always loved the illustrations in here and the font that was used so I've decided I'm going to do the 12 days of Christmas which starts on Christmas Day and this collage commemorates Christmas Day which was yesterday and I I'm glad I waited to start this particular journal because I received a gift from one of my family that had this wrapping paper on it, do not open until December 25th. And I used this in the background, which you'll see in the video, and coated it with white gesso to kind of uh, soften it and really put it in the background. But I've, I've worked on this uh, collage today. It's kind of a surrealistic, magical, realistic collage. And I'm going to do one a day. Um, well, actually, tomorrow I'm going to do two. But uh, since I started late, uh, until January 5th. January 5th is 12th night. And... Uh, and then January 6th is Epiphany. So I, I'm going to show you the video without me talking of the construction of this collage based upon the 12 days of Christmas. And what I've done is taken the main element uh, from the page in the book. And the first day is the partridge in the pear tree. So here's my partridge in a pear tree. And then other elements I pulled from my stash um, from children's playing cards. And here's a stamp. And I have a second stamp that um, I'll probably use uh, later on in another collage. And I started designing the layout. I did find a an ad from a magazine from 1936. And coincidentally, it was a woman with a, I'm, I'm saying it's a turtle dove um, that she's holding in her hand. So I didn't want to reveal that since the Second day is when she reveal she receives two turtle doves. So I cropped the picture uh, right below her nose and made kind of a surrealistic, um, magical realistic kind of an a collage with the pear tree growing out of. <clears throat> what I consider her third eye and she's either imagining what it 
looked like if it really had happened or because the surrealist collages um, and magical realist collages things appear not the way they really are but through we look at it through our imagination so this is the first one and I I ended up really liking the design um, I have a, a triangle going on here that carries your eye throughout the collage <clears throat> excuse me of using the reds and also I have the yellow green repeated in the stamp and in the large pair the small pair and up here in the heart um, the illustration that I got out of the magazine had this wonderful gray blue um, around the lady's hair and the dove and I used uh, pan pastels to kind of replicate that and also a uh, color pencil and I also went in with my um, Posca pens and I put some definition into her hair to blend the brown from the top of her head into the hair on the side of her face so all in all I'm I'm really pleased with the way it turned out and I may do a little bit more on it I haven't decided um, I may put some rubber stamping in it um, I don't know I'm gonna have to let it be and then come back to it and see if there's anything else that I want to add so for the next 12 days um, from now uh, through uh, January 6th I'll be doing the 12 days of Christmas with Christmas Day <clears throat> which is this one the first day and then I'm going to go ahead and film the second day, which is actually today. I'm glad I waited to start this because I got a present from family that had this do not open until December 25th. And that's what I used in the background. And then I coated over top of it with white gesso <clears throat> which kind of set it in the background, but it, it worked out really, really well to begin and be my first um, collage in this series. So, I hope you will enjoy watching this uh, put together. Uh, I'll, it'll be to music, and I'll put little notes uh, on the bottom of the page as I'm doing different things and then the next one will go ahead and work through it so welcome back I'm glad to be back in the studio after um, over two weeks of being in the kitchen baking I made 14 different kinds of cookies and candies and a lot of those will be in the mail on Monday since I am celebrating the 12 days of Christmas uh, hopefully people will appreciate the the goodies they get in the mail and uh, I have given away quite a bit to my friends and neighbors here so uh, enjoy the video and um, I'll, I'll say goodbye at the end of the video and hope that you'll come and visit me for the next 12 days for my 12 days of Christmas. Enjoy!
Well, I hope you enjoyed watching the video uh, as I constructed um, this particular collage, the first day of Christmas. And I will continue um, this uh, tomorrow and we can enjoy each other's company as I go through the next 12 days of Christmas, which will take me into January. It's good to be back. Many, many blessings to you. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.